What's up guys, Jay Fleming here with another video. All right, so it's been a crazy couple years. It's been a crazy couple years, but I feel like we have made it um, not only as uh, you know as an organization, but as people, um, we went through a lot. So um, kudos um, to everybody sticking it out. Uh, sorry for everyone who may have lost uh, family members or uh, friends within the process. Uh, heart goes out to all the families, truly and dearly. Um, but uh, it's been it's been crazy. So I'm glad to be back at a point to where we got a little bit of normalcy. Um, it's a great year coming upon this. Um, it's the spring. Um, just an update on my situation. Uh, it's not more so of a situation, but it's pretty much um, a difference, I guess. Um, so now I'm at the Grand Valley office, Grand Valley, Missouri. Um, I was at Lenexa. They closed that office down and we merged into Grand Valley, which kind of made sense. You know, wasn't too much mad at that. It made sense to have one office that can cover you know, a nice margin. Um, like I said, I do cover Kansas City, Missouri. Um, been having a great time out here again. Um, just ready for it to get a little, uh, a little warmer. You know that that winter was crazy. It was real crazy, but um, definitely uh, ready for that uh, good sun to be shining on. Me. We all need that good vitamin D. It makes us all happy. Um, now you guys had a lot of questions um, in regards to the job itself. Um, like I said, um, it's pretty much one of those jobs where you gotta kind of have like a level head and things like that. To some of the comments that I have seen so let me do that first and right so this one here Mr. Uh, Mr. Victor Sanchez you stated that I'm about to have my second interview tomorrow uh, you left direct TV in November uh, at the nine years um, I had some service you did there sir um, he said so many negative reviews about forcing the text to sell stuff and if you don't you'll be fired that concerns me and discouraged me some so in regards to that sir i would say you have the comfortability of knowing that you will not be fired because you cannot um process sales i would say it is something that we do um encourage along with several other metrics um you are held to, at a, a high standard in regards to leveling out these metrics but you won't be fired um the way that you're taught, like I say all the time, the way that you're taught by the text and by, um, it's like a brotherhood, um, sisterhood. Cause I know we got, we got a lot of grateful, um, women out there as well. So I have seen them in action. So it's a good, uh, brotherhood and sisterhood of, uh, people that allows you to be comfortable with asking questions and trying to uh, be a part of a winning team. So I would say, um, you have no problem with that. Um, just don't think about that aspect. Like I said, it was one of my things. I always was like, I never depend on a job where I would be required to sell because that's not my thing. But uh, the products sell themselves. Uh, these customers, they look at you um, uh, for advice on pretty much everything. Um, I'm into the on-tech field as well. I do uh, a host of on-tech jobs. That's like... I probably do more on tech than dish, honestly. Um, so look at me. Um, three years in, I'm doing things I never thought I would do. I never thought I would be messing around with thermostats. I never thought I'd be uh, uh, diagnosing the thermostats as that inside of an HVAC unit, trying to figure out why power isn't generating to a certain area. I got good at these things. So dish allows you to um, oversee any of your goals that you may have had. So uh, it's been good to me and uh, I feel like the sky's the limit. I got so much more that I can do um, within this company. So I'm just trying to build build my uh, character, uh, trying to build my career and just trying to ultimately be a better person than I was yesterday. Um, and there's that's inspiration for a lot of other people because I feel like if I can do it, you can do it. Um, moving along here, uh, Saquon Hughes, you had an interview and you got hired on the spot. Good job, buddy. Good job for you. Welcome to the family.
And Mr. Mobo, you were concerned. You said your customer had a dish, always had weather issues. Uh, I'm not sure what was going on there. I'm not sure if it was dish. Uh, you said it had a dish, so I'm not sure there. But either or, um, you get one of our guys to come out there, we can diagnose that and we can get you back going. They send you to school for, it's not really school, it's training. Um, around this time now, since COVID has ended, you may be going to another city um, or something like that um, for two weeks. So the process is you learn how to put up, point and pick a dish for the first week. The second week, you do it um, in your city at the location where you were hired with a coach. You The whole second week, you learn everything you did at training. Then the third week, you go back out to wherever they sent you to begin your training. You learn how to run cabling. And then the fourth week, you come back, you learn everything um, with the coach that you learned that fourth week after uh, training that you were sent out to. And then, boom, fifth week, you're on your own. So um, just keep writing good notes. Um, not sure how you guys uh, do notes, but I will paraphrase them in ways that – you can look at them and interpret them and remember it. Simplifying things are the best thing that you can do. Um, moving along here. All right, Mr. Victor B. Ah, said working in a warehouse. It was horrible. Ah, so this is one of those comments to where, um, not sure where you was at, but, but you know, everyone has uh, different experiences. Um, and he, he's entitled to his own, um, his own comments. So, I'm not sure what happened there. Can't really speak too much on there. But, buddy, I will let you know. As a man, I love you, brother. Thank you for uh, putting in your time with Dish. Um, and I hope you we see you again. I hope we see you again. You guys have really been reaching out in ways to where I didn't know that you guys reach out. I would never know that these videos would be going up this way. I was just trying to, you know, uh, do my due diligence as far as reaching out to people that was curious about something that I was. So um, that bridge of connection is nice. And I had a guy named Carl uh, Bishop. Do technicians still have to crawl under people's houses to run wires? I feel I could definitely do the job, but I'm not comfortable going under my own house. Sure wouldn't want to crawl under someone else's house, come face to face with a darn cold blooded uh, danger noodle, <laughs> AKA a snake. So, um, in regards to that, uh, Mr. Bishop, uh, that, that was my thing too. My thing with, uh, addicts, I would say it was raccoons. I was afraid to go in because of the raccoons. Um, but I never encountered any of them. I'm been with this three years, you know, I haven't encountered a raccoon the, at the most, probably a spider or, you know, maybe, uh, a frog. I seen a frog. So, um, I feel like uh, you'll be okay there. Just always keep your head on the swivel, sir. You got to. All right, so Morgan Baines. Hey, my name is Adam. I'm going through the interview process with this currently for a drone one position. Could you give me any information or insight? Thank you. Um, it's to help and assist with their 5G rollout. Um, appreciate the video. Thank you, sir. Not a problem. Um, I'm not too too sure on the uh, 5G or the drone side of things. Um, it's a bit out of my um, out of my uh, area uh, of expertise, but uh, I would just probably go to Portal and probably uh, try to see if you can find more videos or um, it might be just more information on there where you can probably get some of the uh, uh, some of the questions that you're trying to get. Ray Gomez, when you sell something for dish, you get points. Then you can spend those points on items, not money or bonus. But yeah, guys, um, from a point of uh, my perspective, uh, this is Jay Fleming. Um, like I said, band with dish, it's a better feel for you. It's a better feel for your family. Um, it's a lot of great things out there within the company. You don't have to just do... Uh, uh, be a smart home technician. Uh, you can come try for on tech once you get your level up. Um, you just gotta kind of like have to build your profile up, build your way up. Um, that's with anything in life. Um, we're gonna go 
and talk about trouble costs really quick. Um, some of the first thing, and I actually, <laughs> I have one R12 um, several months at this office. Um, I feel like I'm actually in, in a um, position to win it again. R12s is something that I take a lot of pride in. So when I first get at a customer home's per se, I talk to the customer, I ask them, okay, um, what's the problem? Because, you know, obviously the customers, they went through a bad experience, so you gotta let them let the steam off. You have to. Um, so de-escalating things, that has to be something that you have to allow to happen. So talking to the customer, letting them know uh, what's going on, showing the concern. Um, them telling you the problem, um, and I have this at my home, so I kind of know the system inside and out. So when they discuss the problem you're having, um, you're kind of quick to know exactly what's going on once you know the system in and out. But what I do is I check the uh, signal behind the receiver. I check the line, the host line going into the wall plate, check behind the wall plate, make sure everything's tight in there, make sure it's not corroded or anything like that. And then I go outside. Um, I investigate everything at the hub, at the center of the system. Make sure all that's okay. Um, make sure I go to the dish. Make sure there's everything's tight in there. You're just trying to work your way inside out. At least that's how I do mine. And it has been working very successful for me. No complaints. Um, pretty much all my metrics, I feel like, are, are at a, a good um, balanced line. I always try to get my pipe metric to at least 80 to 90. That's something that I always try to do. I take a lot of pride in that. Um, my PPH, I do on tech. So sometimes, well, now I, I believe it's a little faster now because with the on tech, when I first jumped into it, it took me time to learn how to, you know, diagnose video doorbells, install them, like learn about all these different products. So I'm at a, a pace now to where I'm quick, quickly and quickly out, um, delivering great customer education, simplifying it for our older customers to a way that they are, um, they have a clear conscience when you leave, they can work the system the way that they want. So uh, it's definitely, definitely, um, it's, it's something that has it, been great. So uh, that's pretty much the up and up about the trouble cost, just make sure that you work your way in and out. Make sure everything is tight and everything is fresh. Everything looks right. Um, and that will cause you to have a great R12 um, uh, percentage as far as it being zero or as low as you can get it. Take pride in your job. Take pride in um, just trying to be a better dish technician. Um, because once you start to dive deeper into that, you want to learn more and more about things within the company. And uh, this is a great place to work for. Uh, we pretty much, um, we have one of the best customer uh, experiences. Um, customers love us. Um, JD Power Award, several years in a row. Um, what more can we not accomplish? And the company is still seeking way uh way more advancements as far as just trying to build so we got a genius that's at, at the front at the front wheel right now so uh, we're gonna pretty much uh be one of those companies that's shaping the next generation so if you want to be a part of something greater than just yourself um come work for dish um we're definitely going to get uh everyone to a point to where we're gonna establish our name and deliver a message to the point to where uh, people know exactly who we are. Come give us a try. Um, if you guys have any more questions, just shoot them out at me. Um, I'll try to deliver them in a good orderly fashion or however they come or the time that I have. Um, yeah, it's been real guys. Peace and love.